Welcome to Multiplication with Mr. J. In this installment of Math with Mr. J, we are going to cover multiplication. And as you can see, there are six multiplication problems on your screen. So we are going to go through these six together. So you should have something out to write on and write with. Now, as we're going through the problems, if at any point you feel confident and you want to try some on your own, feel free to press pause, solve those problems, and when you're ready, press play. That way you can check your answers with mine as I go through the problems. If you want to go through all six with me, that works too. So let's start with number one, and we have 56 times four. And we need to set it up like so. Now multiplication is nothing but repeated facts, multiplication facts. So if you know your facts, the most important part is going to be the problem setup and lining everything up. So 56 times 4, we are going to start with 4 times 6, which is 24. So we put our 4 in the 1's place, carry our 2. Now we do 4 times 5, which is 20, plus that 2, 20, 2. Circle our answer, and we have our product, 224. And product is the answer to a multiplication problem. So number two, we have 93 times eight. So we start with eight times three. Eight times three is 24, carry the two. Then we do eight times nine, which is 72, plus that two is 74. Circle our product, 744. Now number three, we have a three digit number by a one digit. So a little bit different, but it's the same exact process. We just have an extra number here. So we need to take the three to the two, the six, and the four. So we start with three times two, which is six. Then we do three times six, which is 18, carry the one. Next, we do three times four, which is 12, plus that one is 13. So our product is 1,386. Number four here, we have 692 times seven. So we need to take the seven to the two, the nine, and the six. So let's start with seven times two, which is 14. Seven times nine is 63, plus that one is 64. Now we have seven times six, which is 42, plus that six is 48. So 4,844. Number five, we have a two digit by two digit. So we set it up as 23 times 16. Now this one's going to be a little different than the previous four because we have two digits um, that we're multiplying by. So we first need to start by multiplying the six times three and then six times two. So it's the same exact stuff we've been doing. So six times three, is 18. Carry the 1. 6 times 2 is 12, plus that 1 is 13. This is not our answer. We're not quite done yet. That's part of our answer, but not quite done. We're done with the 6, though, so I like crossing it off. It shows we're done. And we are also done with this 1 that we carry. So I like to cross that off so we don't get confused later if we have other numbers up there. Now the next step is very, very important. This one right here that I'm underlining, that is in the tens place. It is worth 10. So we need a zero here to make it so we are multiplying uh, that 23 up top by 10. 
It's pushing everything to the right place value when we take the 1 to the 3 and then the 2. So we start here by doing 1 times 3, which is 3. Then we take the 1 to, one to the 2. 1 times 2 is 2. And then we add these two numbers. 8 plus 0 is 8. 3 plus 3 is 6. And then 1 plus 2 is 3. So our answer is 368, our product. Now these two numbers that we added together, these are called partial products. And we add them together to get our product. So let's do number six, another two by two. And I'm gonna come over here to the side where I have more room. So I have 76 times 54. So I need to start by taking my four to the six and four to the seven. Four times six is 24, carry the two. Four times seven is 28, plus two is 30. I'm done with this four, and I'm done with this two. This five now is worth 50, it's in the tens place. So I need a zero here. Then I do five times six, which is 30. And five times seven, which is 35, plus that three is 38. Add these two partial products together to give us our product. Four plus zero is zero. Oh, I'm sorry. Four plus zero is four. Zero plus zero is zero. Three plus eight is 11. Carry my one. And one plus three is four. Put my comma in, circle my answer, and my product is 4,104. So there you have it. Hopefully that was helpful as far as multiplication goes. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, peace.